guys welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video so today we're talking about something very very interesting i'm going to be sharing with you guys the signs of ovulation in your body for when you are trying to conceive if you haven't watched my last video which was also a very interesting one we talked about what you can do to increase your chances of conceiving a baby boy okay it was a video that you guys requested and i delivered so in that video i talked about timing your uh timing your ovulation oh sorry timing when to have sex and also having sex frequently around the time that you are ovulating and i just realized that some of you may not know exactly when you are ovulating and that's okay because i was in that position some years ago i didn't know when i ovulated and all of that i had to do my research so yeah today i'm going to be sharing with you guys the signs in your body to look out for you know when you're trying to conceive whether a baby a baby boy or a baby girl okay so yeah that's what we're talking about today it's gonna be a very very interesting topic i also have some things to show you guys you know to help you pinpoint exactly when you're ovulating so that you know you can get to work okay if you're new to my channel you're very welcome here my name is nosa i make motherhood and lifestyle videos i also make videos like this you know where we talk about fertility womanhood and yeah if you love content like this i would love for you to subscribe and be a part of my youtube family and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching all right guys let's get into the video we have so much to talk about Okay, before we get started i want to quickly say a few things i'm not a doctor i'm not a fertility expert i don't work in the healthcare field i'm just a woman who knows her body uh you know through the years of having kids and also trying to look for the best contraceptives that works uh, everything i'm going to say today is based from my own personal experience as a mom as, and as a woman and also from the things or from my personal research that i have done and uh, let me also say this ovulation may not show in our bodies the same way the signs the signs and symptoms of ovulation are basic and you know standard but they may not show in our bodies the same way because i know that there are some women with fertility issues like pcos you know having irregular periods and all of that so you may not see it in your body the same way i see it on my body okay sometimes it may not even show in your body while you're ovulating that's you know if you have fertility issues and all of that but uh you know there's always an answer for all of these things i think if you have issues if you have fertility issues you should see a doctor you know to find out uh, and you know help with medications and all of that but if you have no fertility issues you have a regular circle and you're just looking for something to increase your chances of conceiving a baby boy then pay attention to everything i'm going to say today and yes this video is like an extension or a part two of the video i made last week okay uh, but before we start talking about the signs and symptoms of ovulation let us first talk about when ovulation happens when does it occur in a woman's body ovulation usually happens 14 weeks oh, sorry two weeks or 14 days before your period before your menstruation starts okay it doesn't happen the whole of the two weeks or all 14 days no one day within that two weeks that is when you are most likely to ovulate okay <laughs> uh okay let's also count from after your period so ovulation also happens uh on the eighth day after your period okay i'm going to explain something further this is just like a general explanation so if you want to count from after your period so your period finishes uh and you know count seven eight day on the eighth day after your period that is when you are most likely going to ovulate so now let me say this every woman's body is not the same some women have longer circles some women have shorter circles you know like 24 25 days some people have the average of 28 days like me so i'm going to use the average to explain you know everything i'll be saying today so if you have an average of 28 days or maybe 29 day uh, circle you are most likely always going to see your or uh, ovulate on the eighth day after after your period so your period was last week count eight days or nine days so on the eighth or on the ninth day you're most likely going to be ovulating let me just stick with eight on the eighth day for now i don't want to complicate things too much i'm speaking based on you know from my experience okay that is the reason why you know you have to know the signs and use some other things to be able to calculate and know the exact day that you're ovulating if you are trying to have a particular gender so now what are the signs of ovulation number one uh breast tenderness so your boobs are tender they are fuller you know if you touch them it's just like some little pain around it uh yeah that is one another sign. sign is increased sexual desires and i think that's just how god created us you are a woman 
you want to have a baby you are thinking about having a baby you, your body starts you know sending you signals that okay this is the time to make the baby the egg is ready it needs it needs the sperm you know to make a baby so uh once you are approaching ovulation your you know you start having all of that you know mood you know getting into the the sexual mood and you just have an increased sexual desire it's something to look at for when you are ovulating your drive you know to have sex increases just becomes this huge thing okay <laughs> so yeah that's number two number three and this one i'm sure a lot of you guys must have experienced it is ovulation pain so there is period pain okay you usually have cramps during period and then there's ovulation pain sometimes ovulation pain can feel like cramps you know like measure cramp but you are not uh it's not your period your period has already come and gone this is like the next week or maybe two weeks later and you are feeling some kind of cramps or sharp pain for me it's more like a sharp pain and sometimes it comes out you know from either my left side of my tummy or my right the right side of my tummy and you guys there's a lot the story is very deep okay i can go into what those you know what the left and the right side mean but let's not go into that once you feel that pain you know coming after your period like eight days or nine days or ten whatever day after your period just know that you are ovulating or you are very close like maybe it's a day before your ovulation or it is your ovulation day so that's another sign the pain the cramping that you have on your lower abdomen and another sign that shows that you are ovulating is your cervical mucus the color and the consistency of your cervical mucus you guys know the one we call discharge woman discharge women discharge that thing it's called a cervical mucus you know it comes before your ovulation it has a it has a particular color before your ovulation but on your ovulation day the day you are ovulating the color is different the consistency you know how it feels is different it looks like raw egg white so when you break an egg remove the yolk you see that thing that is left that white that is exactly what it looks like it's stretchy that's the consistency you know the egg white consistency raw egg white consistency that is that is how it feels and that is what it looks like okay let me say this i'm not asking you to go and start looking at your cervical mucus every day of the month 31 days and blah 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 no there's a time of the month that you should pay attention to it and that is around the time that you are ovulating so you have seen your period uh a week ago or should i say seven days ago now on the eighth day or starting from the seven seventh day start looking at it look at it on the seventh day after your period look at it on the eighth day on the ninth day and on the tenth day just keep looking at it if you like you can touch it and feel it and whatever but but you know just study it to make sure it looks like uh like uh, egg white okay? okay we have talked about four signs or symptoms of ovulation number five which is the last one i'm going to share with you guys is to me the most important one okay the other ones are important as well but this one is the most important so the last one number five is an increase in your basal body temperature okay i know that sounds like big english and you know a lot of words so every woman ha or everybody has uh uh an average temperature that we have every day but as a woman when you're ovulating the day of your ovulation your temperature goes up a little bit how would you know are you going to be doing like this like am i cold am i hot no all you need is a bbt this is a basal body thermometer okay okay so how does the bbt work how does it tell you that you're ovulating very easy very very easy just listen to me every day wake up at the same time i have an alarm on my phone that wakes me up the same time every day so you wake up before you get up from your bed to go pee or you know do anything before you even say hi to your hobby on the bed put this under your tongue okay it's going to get your temperature you see the numbers here now the day that you're ovulating on that morning that you're ovulating you will see a change in the number the number will go up a little bit so instead of maybe 97 degrees or 97.9 or 98.1 on it will go up to like 98.8 or 98.9 so a BBT, a basal body thermometer, can tell you the exact day that you ovulated. So this is what I do. Once I once it shows me that number, which makes me realize that I have ovulated today or I am ovulating today, I put it in one of those apps on my phone. I've told you guys the apps. I'm going to mention the names of those apps right now, okay? After watching this video, please go and download those apps. I'm also going to write them out in the description box. The first one is the Ovia app ovia app the second one is the flow app i think a lot of you guys know the flow app yeah you can get the flow app as well and the last one is the pre-mom app this one is so good i actually love all of them but i love pre-mom the most okay 
so yeah if you can download any of these three apps the day your temperature tells you that you have ovulated just write it down you know go to the app and put it and put it there and you will start seeing a pattern in the app so whenever your next ovulation day is coming these apps on your phone will be telling you you're ovulating tomorrow and then of course you're still doing this and you're doing every other thing you're feeling your boobs you have your sexual drive you're looking at your uh, cervical mucus all of these things okay okay that's number five using a basal body thermometer number six is you know having an ovulation test kit some ovulation test kit comes with a thermometer but this one does not so when you buy an ovulation test kit all you basically do is to test your urine after your period so your period has ended that means within the next uh two weeks or 14 days you are going to be ovulating you use this every morning and do the, you can test for ovulation either in the morning or afternoon or evening or night before you go to bed i usually test at least four to five times a day when i wake up after breakfast sometime in the afternoon sometime in the you know evening and then in the night before i go to bed i usually test like throughout the day for 14 days okay now i also got this one from amazon these are also sold in any pharmaceutical store so you go to any you know chemist shop or whatever we call it and you can get this and use it you know after your period to calculate when you are ovulating so i have talked about using uh, a basal body temperature i've talked about downloading those apps and then i've also talked about this but all the other signs and symptoms we've talked about today are all important as well if you are trying to conceive a particular gender especially a baby boy because i mean this is a, an extension of the last video then you know be committed to doing all of these things okay and let me just say this whether it works or it doesn't work at the end of the day you will be proud that you have all this knowledge okay it's not a waste of time like oh my god i spent money i bought this i bought that but if you think that this is a lot of work or you do, please don't do it okay just listen to this video for entertainment just enjoy yourself and just okay lastly before i close out this video i just want to put out some few words of encouragement i feel like i should always do this okay because you know we're trying to conceive a desired gender and we just need all the encouragement in the world please be encouraged okay be patient be calm be relaxed when you actually start trying you realize that it's you know it's a lot of mental work like you have to pay attention you don't want to miss your ovulation day you have to wake up at a particular time set the alarm you know do all of these things but yeah please be patient be relaxed be calm and keep believing in god and like i said i'm praying for you that it will work out i'm praying that testimonies will come out from this video okay so yeah um i hope that this works for you i hope that this video was helpful to you if you know somebody who needs this video please share this video to them okay and if you're new to my channel do not forget to subscribe if you guys want me to make a video on how to conceive a baby girl please let me know in the comment section i haven't gotten any requests or maybe i have one but yeah just bring the request in and i will sit down and make a video i have i've done my research on that plus my own experience okay i can make a video and you know share with you guys and if you have any other video requests relating to topics like this please let me know i will leave the links of this product that i shared in the description box you can check them out all right guys that will be it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i'm praying for you that god will bless you and give you your heart desire give you the baby that you want give you triplets give you quadruplets <laughs> yeah give you that gender desire uh, that desire that you want and yeah i love you guys i'll see you all in my next one